Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, hope you're all doing well. So we are heading off skiing and I thought I'd bring you along with us. So it's Alex and I and we're going skiing for a week in Austria. Uh, we're staying in a little place called Caprun, uh, which isn't far from Salamsi. So yeah, so it's a week of skiing. We've not been skiing before, so this is our first skiing trip. Uh, we've done like training and stuff in Manchester, uh, which you'll have seen in one of the previous vlogs. So we've We've driven to Manchester, we've checked into the Clayton Hotel at Manchester Airport. I uh, hope you enjoy the vlog. If you're new to my channel, then please give me a thumbs up. If you um, haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my content. I'll, I'll push out regular, regular vlogs over the next coming months and weeks and whatnot. So yes, yeah, so I hope you enjoy. We're going to bed fairly soon. Uh, so then we're up fresh and ready to get the shuttle at half eight in the morning. So I will... I'll speak to you in the morning. We've just got into Manchester Airport, past security. I've managed to grab a Costa. Our flight leaves at 10.50, so we're just having a little look round. Next stop, Salzburg. 10.15, Salzburg, gate B8. with the number you will find in the app. And make sure to fasten your seatbelt and remain seated at all times. Our journey time is going to be approximately one hour to a bus stop where everyone from Badgestein and Bad Hockestein will get off and get a taxi to their hotels. And the bus will then continue about 20 minutes to Salamse Alpenblick for a short stop and then continue about 10 minutes to Caprun where you will be dropped off at your hotels. See you all on the slopes and enjoy your holiday. Thank you. Hey guys, so we've got to Austria and we've just checked into our hotel. Uh, the Hotel Barbara Hoff in uh, Caprun. It's an Alpine Superior Hotel. So I'll give you a bit of a room tour. So it's, it's really nice actually. We're really impressed. So this is the sort of main bedroom area. That's the bed with the nice puffy, comfy pillows. TV area, lovely, lovely big TV actually. We've got the fridge down here. And then under here you've got like the Nespresso machine and the glasses and these are just some cereal bars and then you've got like a sort of lounging lounge area with again nice comfy pillows some magazines bathrobes either side of the bed which is a really cute touch and then this room's like a corner facing room so it faces out onto the the street i can show you properly tomorrow when it's when it's daylight but it's really nice isn't it it's this is the balcony, so it's quite a large corner balcony. And then it looks down onto the, the street below. That's the front of the hotel. Yeah. And then the mountains in the background. It's very cute. But it's very cold out there, so I won't be staying out there for very long this evening anyway without my ski jacket on. So yeah, this is the room from this angle. And then I'll take you through into the bathroom. So again, it's a lovely sized corner bathroom. So you've got this big shower in the corner, which we didn't expect, I don't think. I can't really remember. Nice sink area, plenty of storage, and like a really nice towel rail, which is really lovely and warm. And you've got these products, what have we got? This, this lotion, body lotion, and then vanity set and stuff. Hair dryer, which is always fab to have. For me, yeah, just super clean, very nice, very, very nice. We're just currently packing our things up. You've got this lovely ski area at the edge, 
so you've got plenty of room to put like your skis and and all your bits and bobs and sort of have all these drawers and stuff. Yeah, and then I'll quickly show you whilst I've got the map. So this is where we are, this is where we're staying. So we had a long drive over, well, it wasn't long compared to normal transfers. I think the transfer from Salzburg Airport to here, Kaprum was like an hour and a half, which wasn't too bad. And then we drove past uh, Zalamsi and then up here to Kaprum. So this is where we are. And then we'll do sort of this area tomorrow. But our ski pass covers like this area, uh, the Salamsi area, so you can get the bus down that's free to Salamsi and we can do all this sort of area as well. And then I think our pass also covers Salbach or Salbach over here. So one day we might go over that way as well. So And there's a bigger lake obviously near Salamsi, which we might do for our, our day off. The flying stuff was super smooth with Tui. We've not flown with Tui in a long time and it was just really, really good. Uh, Crystal Ski Holidays are the guys that we've used to, to book this trip. I think I think they're run by Tui. So the flight was super efficient. I think it was about 1 hour 55. So um, from that's from Manchester to Salzburg. So really so not bad at all. Very long day though. I think the travel days are quite tiring. So I'm looking forward to going down for dinner. I'll take you with us and I'll give you a bit of a tour of the hotel at some point this evening, I think as well. So yeah, so now we can enjoy the holidays. Let's chill for a little bit and then head down for dinner. Just had dinner which is lovely i just thought i'd come out and have a bit of an explore show you around a bit and show myself around a bit uh, and then i think tomorrow morning we'll have a little bit more of an explore and really get our bearings about what's here and whatnot but actually there's quite a few little pubs restaurants cafes seems pretty cute and it's quite quaint it's quite like traditional austrian which i quite like dinner was beautiful it was like Five or six courses, you picked sort of like the main, but we had French onion soup. We started off with uh, a buffet with lots of like, lots of nice little salmon bits and pâtés and beef things and stuff. Then we had, which you could have breads and stuff with as well. Then we had French onion soup. Then we had uh, schnitzel, which was nice. And then like this Austrian pancakey dessert thing, cheese and biscuits followed by ice cream. We had a beer each. And then you can get coffee, you can get cocktails, whatever. Um, obviously they're all additional to the half pod. You just chuck them on your room tab and settle it at the end, so. Really nice though. I really, really recommend the, uh, the area so far and the hotel, so yeah. I'll leave a link obviously to the hotel and, and the area and whatnot in the description for you, so you've got it if you, you know, you're planning on a trip. But yeah, first ski holiday, so so far so good. And, Really, really looking forward to sort of picking our ski stuff up tomorrow and getting out on the slopes. I think we'll just take it a bit slow tomorrow and try and get sort of, you know, into it gradually. But yeah, very exciting, very happy. This is the press ski bit, or one of the bars. Probably going there one of, one of the nights. This is the shop that we're uh, picking our ski, go ski gear up from.
Hey guys, I thought I'd bring you down to the spa just to give you a little, a little tour of it. I brought my book down with me, Verity. I'm looking forward to reading this. But look, it's such a nice space. Really cute. So this is the pool area. Some loungers, just a really cute area to come and chill. With obviously a little music playing and then through here. And you just open the door quickly, you've got that like Roman-esque style spa area, it's got a nice sweet seating in the middle, an area that you can get a nice drink of water, you've got a relaxing, um, just chill out room in that corner with the lion in and like a nice relaxing music. Over there you've got the steam room with like the rose quartz um, waterfall in the middle, you've got a sauna just there and then around there you've got a shower room and stuff, just really really nice. So I just love the, uh, the Roman Romanesque stuff. But yeah, that's me. Just lovely, really nice. Nice to come down and just relax and chill out, bring your book, and just after a day on the slopes, just unwind and do a bit of meditation. But yeah, Alex has used that room for meditation. Very, very good. Highly rate this hotel. Hey guys, so end of day one. I think some of the blue slopes were a bit bit higher gradient than I was expecting. Um, so certain areas were quite steep. Well, I was just a bit sort of concerned about going too quick um, and not getting my turns quite right. I had a couple of falls, which obviously knocks your confidence anyway. We've we've done a bit of research and we found that further up the mountain, actually the, the blue slopes can be a bit more gentle. Because I swear, some of them blue slopes, I honestly feel should be like red slopes or something because they're very, very steep. At least we've done day one we've got all of our ski gear hired. Um, we managed to get up there, we managed to try it out. A few falls and stuff, but it's, you know, it's it's all part and parcel of it. Good fun anyway. The, the weather was stunning. We had some nice drinks and then we came back down and sort of used the spa facilities. Had a lovely dinner again. Uh, the food in this hotel is exceptional. It's really, really good quality. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. We had like a mixed meat grill. Um, you have like a buffet where you can have all your little salmon moose things and uh, different sort of meats and cheeses and olives and stuff and then dessert I had panna cotta uh, lovely glass of red wine very very nice wine actually it was a lovely meal to end a lovely day onwards and upwards we try out again tomorrow we're gonna have a really good night's sleep tonight build up our energy and then then hit the slopes again tomorrow so yeah I will leave you here and I will vlog in the morning so night night